guys, so I'm back with another Valentine's Day look. I know they're back to back, but um, I really liked this look and I really wanted to do it. So this look is inspired by Teffa doll. I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll put the, the picture right here. Yeah, so she did a look that was really pretty. Um, since I'm doing Valentine's Day looks, I decided to do something, kind of my own spin on it. This is my second time filming this, by the way. The first time I did it, um, the crease was lower. I put this in this pink heart in the inner corner, but I put like the I put like chunky glitter and a heart in the inner corner. And then I did tears because I was like, oh, that'd be cool. And then it was too much because I had because I tried it on one eye and it was the inner corner and the tears. And then I just stuck to the tears because I liked it better. So, if you guys want to learn how to do a cut crease, a very foolproof way, go ahead and keep watching this video. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. So I'm starting off with the Modern Renaissance palette, Red Ochre and Venetian Red, and I'm taking a small detailed brush. This is just from e.l.f. It's a dollar, I think. Um, I'm outlining the line that I'm making. I started off with a little bit of product, kind of wiped it off, um, and cleaned the edges so that the line would be easier to make. And I just kind of rounded it out and did a little wing. Um, and I didn't take more product until I was ready to. So it's easier with less product to make that wing so that you can kind of just erase it if you need to. And you can kind of be messy on the top with this. It, you can honestly be messy, as messy as you want, because we're going to clean it up with concealer anyway. Um, and then I'm taking the red from the 35B palette from Morphe. Any red will do. And I'm taking a Sonia Kashuk brush. This is just a bigger brush. I'm applying this right above the color that we put down, and it's kind of going to blend in with the red ochre and Venetian red. And this just makes it a nice transition from dark to light. And then I'm taking the Anastasia brush that came in a palette, and this is very clean. You want to make sure you use a clean brush and blend this out. That's the key to this look. You want to make sure your brushes are clean. Well, at least for this one, at least this brush that you're going to be blending out the colors with. Because otherwise it will end up looking really muddy really fast. And since we're super close to the brow bone, you don't want to use a dirty brush to blend out the colors. So, um, I blend out the colors and then I wipe the color off on a paper towel or my wrist or my hand and then I blend it out and then I add more depending on what colors that I want in the crease. You want to make sure it's the darkest where that line is and then it gradually gets lighter as you go up. So doing the same thing to the other eye, you can just see that I'm applying the color and blending it out. Again, just applying the colors where I see fit and blending them out carefully. This isn't too hard of a look, so I hope you guys will be able to follow along. Um, but again, make sure that brush is clean when you blend it out, otherwise the color might get everywhere. So then I'm taking NYX's concealer, any concealer will work, and a flat angled brush, or not angled brush, a flat definer brush. This is Morphe 432, and I'm just carving out my crease. You want to make sure when you're carving it out, you want to carve out right below the darkest part of your crease, because that'll really make it stand out. Then I'm taking Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette, it's just a light champagne pink, and I'm setting the concealer, and this is going to be my lid shade. After the lid shade is put down, I take that detailed brush again and I just go back in and apply more shadow if I need to right on top and just kind of clean up the edge. Um, if your lid touches your crease, this the lid shade will get into your crease, so you want to make this a little bit higher than you normally would. Um, at the end you'll see the my lid shade kind of transferred into my crease, but that's okay. Same thing to the other eye, and then just cleaning it up. And 
then I'm taking Mary Liquid Lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm just doing a winged liner and I'm following the line that we made as our crease. Um, I'm just making a parallel line to that. And I'm using the brush that came in the Kylie Liner kit that I got. And then if you need to, just clean it up with concealer. And apply mascara. I'm using the Maybelline. What is this? I'm just using a Maybelline mascara. And then I'm taking Red Ochre and Venetian Red again from the Modern Renaissance palette on that same brush and just applying this close to the lash line. And then I'm taking Love Letter on that Anastasia brush and just blending this out. Apply your false lashes. I'm using the Huda Beauty ones and then I got these heart stickers from Michaels. I'd suggest putting the glitter on first because my hearts fell off, but oh well. I also used glitter from Michaels. Use this at your own risk. It's not supposed to be meant around your eyes, but um, I used a red and pink chunky glitter and a pink and clear finer glitter for um, a mix of glitters as my tears. And then I would used NYX's glitter glue to stick all of those on. And I just put it in like a little tear shape. And then I took Pink Heart from the Moonchild Glow Kit as my inner corner highlight to just make the look a little bit cohesive and have a little bit of a pink pop. And then I took Clinique's Quick Liner in number two, something cafe, I'll leave it down below. Lined my lips, filled it in a little bit, and then I took Maybelline's lip gloss, which they don't sell in stores anymore, not all at least, um, in Blush Essence, number 95. Put that on before I put my first class nude from Rimmel, just so it wouldn't be so pink. And that's a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.